Hello everyone. Um, we are in a special situation right now because I've got more solar power than I can use. So I thought it's time for some good old fun. Today I want to find out how fast the Turan can go in a straight line ever since I upgraded uh, the field weakening control. Let's go. Good, we've left all the Baustelle behind. I've stuck the car straight into fifth gear. So acceleration's not going to be spectacular, but that's not what we're looking for. On the laptop I'm uh, plotting various live data, temperatures, frequency and so on. And here we go. Full throttle. Looks like 200 and a very hot motor is <laughs> the most we're going to. Now, for the way back, I just want to know can the car sustain 150? If you want that, I stuck it in uh, fourth gear now. I mean, without overheating. It's quite noisy in here, so I certainly wouldn't be traveling at this speed. more the traveling speed I prefer nowadays. Oh, and 
more unlimited. So let's just engage cruise control and then just take this back to 150. 70 degrees by the way. Oh yeah, you can see the, the gauge is moving. And here is just a quick reminder of the car's cooling system. Yes, this is a small I think it's called a heater core. So it's really small and tiny and this is like lowest of the range pump. I think it's called an auxiliary water pump. It just consumes like 5 watts. And uh, yeah, completely sufficient for like, let's call it normal driving. And I was expecting everything in here to be sort of toasty, but actually it's not. If I touch here, it's just like warmish. Same for the water. Well, maybe the, the sensor lookup table isn't all that accurate after all. And also the battery has taken quite a beating from this uh, high-speed driving. Uh, we started at 25 degrees and now we are at uh, 37. Uh, never mind the high delta and cell voltage, that's just a loose tap wire. And finally let's take a look at uh, the graph we captured. So the acceleration run starts at around uh, 250, where you can see the, the frequency rise from standstill to 400. And 438. Yes, you can see uh, pretty much from where I floor the throttle, uh, the inverter temperature shoots right up to apparently where it saturates at 100. Like it doesn't physically saturate, just the reading does. Even when I'm still accelerating, the inverter temperature actually comes down. So that's, uh, that's interesting. And um, yeah, we can see the motor temperature is kind of lagging behind a little bit. It slowly rises and as we've reached uh, top speed, motor temperature has reached 76 degrees. And then even as we are decelerating, it, it rises because it's got that lag in there and reaches a maximum of uh, 90 degrees. Um, take it with a grain of salt because these temperature lookup tables are not super accurate so um, <clears throat> when it says 90 it could as well be 100 or maybe just 80 i'm not quite sure i never refined it good so i hope you found this little road rage video interesting thanks for watching and 
See you next time.